Hey, this is Isaac from Be Fit Tacoma, and I want to say thank you once again for joining us on our charity challenge. Through my career as a trainer, I've really had the great opportunity to meet a lot of people that I really look up to and really respect. And I always got to say, it's always awesome when I meet someone, and them in person blows away the expectations of what I had before I met them. For example, I know someone who's a great strength coach, Michael Boyle. He's always been a big hero of mine because of all the things that he writes, and today I wanted to share a great story with you. Now, Michael Boyle, I have to say, not only is he awesome with the information he presents, but he's actually just a really, really awesome guy. And that's kind of my goal. If I was older one day, someone look at what I give people and think, wow, that's an awesome product, and he gives a lot of great information, but all in all, he's a really, really cool person. And uh, if I can say that at the end, I'm happy. So I'm going to share the story with you that I heard from Michael Boyle. So one day, there is this boy, and he was there with his old grandfather, and they had a donkey. And they took this donkey, and they were both walking next to it, and, and the old man felt bad, so he said, okay, uh, son, go ahead and jump up on the donkey. You ride the donkey. Yeah, I'll walk next to it. It's okay, awesome. So they're riding along and they get to the first town. And the town people look and they say, man, how rude is this? Doesn't this young boy know any respect? The old man should be riding the donkey. The boy should be walking. They heard that and they said, oh, well maybe they're right. Sorry about that, so they switch places. Old man's on the donkey, young boy's walking. They get to the next town. And people are like, man, look at this. Look at the, look at the old man riding this donkey while the poor young boy has to walk. And so they don't know what to do, so they both get off the donkey and they both walk. They get to the next town. And the people are like, wow, look at this. These, both of these people are just walking. This donkey is clearly strong enough to see both of these people. So they both get on the donkey and they ride to the next town. At the next town, it's a bunch of animal cruelty people. And they're like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe you are both crushing this poor donkey. I, I can't believe, we can't believe. Here's what we're gonna do, get, get off the donkey, we're all gonna carry the donkey. So the whole town gets together, they take three of their strongest guys, and the young boy and the old man, and they carry this donkey until they get to this bridge. And they're trying to carry the donkey across the bridge, and they drop it, and the donkey falls into the water. And the moral of that story is if you try to please everyone, be prepared to lose your ass. A very, very simple story, and I think it's so, so true. A lot of times people are like, eh, I made this person unhappy, maybe I feel bad. Uh, Maybe, okay, maybe I told this person, you know, hey, I can't have happy hour with you. We're always sure we used to go to happy hour all the time, but I need to be healthy for myself. You know, I'm not going to have the glass of wine with you tonight. I'm not going to have these beers like I used to. And you can't please everyone. Okay, so you have to believe in yourself and really know what your core values are and what you really want. Because not everyone is just going to be there to just give you this kind of advice and say, mm, um, you should do what I want to do. Right? So you have to think about yourself. So the best way, another mentor that I met, uh, Martin Rooney, and if you know me for a while, you've probably heard this before in a video, that if you close your eyes and you say, which way is north, right? If my eyes are closed, I have no compass, I have no idea. And the problem is no one, most people don't have a compass in life. So you have to make sure you have a compass in life so you know what you truly believe in. You can't go town to town asking different people if you should ride the donkey or not. So that's our coaching lesson for the week. Thanks so much for staying up with us for the charity challenge. And it's been wonderful to be with you guys, and I'll talk to you later.